people should probably keep an eye on. All right, Hunter, I'm going to show you the viral videos of the snacks. day. You know about snacks? I, I know about snacks. You know about snacks? I know about snacks. So, um... This man. Well, he was the, uh... Jackson State manager. Manager, that's right. Um... I'm going to get, give you guys a, a view of snacks. our video here in just a second. I'm trying to get it set up for you. The Jackson State uh, manager, Thomas, I think, well, make sure I get his name right. Uh, Thomas Lee is his name. That His nickname is Snacks. Yeah. <laughs> snacks. Andre said that's bullying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I said, obviously, he don't care. Yeah, obviously, he, he really He said the care. bully usually don't have much to say to the bullies. <laughs> yes, the bully. So, yeah. So anyway, uh, we're gonna bring up snack. I got two videos to Why, show you. Why does from Andre snack. know something about being called snacks? No, no. Uh, we got two videos to show you. Uh, here's the first one from Snacks. So Snacks uh, is going to attempt a dunk here, Hunter. Have you seen this one? I've seen. You've this seen one. both of them. Yeah, both videos. Okay. I've seen both. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just want to make sure. So oh, Snacks yeah. is going to take it to the rack here, folks. You just watch it online. I'm sorry for you folks listening to the podcast, but uh, can't do nothing about it. But here if, you, if you don't know who it is. Just look up snacks. Ah! Oh, he hit. He hit pretty hard, man. <laughs> <laughs> Got the dunk. Hey, but at least he's, hey, he's, having a good, he's having a good time. Look at it. So ah! He's like, hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Hashtag rise up. That's right. Rise up, Hunter. Rise, rise up, up. Buddy. Rise up. Yep. He got, he got help from, ah! from three folks. I don't know who the folks are helping him, but... What a great job. So so Snacks gets into the game mm-hmm. like the other night. And, and I want to show you, folks, uh, Snacks getting into the ball game. Snacks is in this game. Not only is he in the game, he's about to make it rain. They're up by 26, so he gets in the ball game. So here's the fast break to Snacks. Kicks it out for three from Mexico. <laughs> We'll go back. Watch how far away this three was, folks. This is the manager. This ain't a player. He ain't on the team. We just saw him get dunk with dunk with three people helping him. Now watch him pull from. I mean, this is LeBron range and KD. I mean, KD that's, deep. that's pretty this is deep. Steph, this is Steph Curry range. That's right pretty here. deep, man. And snacks. Don't even said, leave his feet. No, nah, dude. You want to know what the best? You want to know what the best part of that video was? In all seriousness. Yeah. The fact that he followed through and just left it there. <laughs> Did he? Yeah, when let's he go, let go, when he oh, let go, he just held it there for a second and watched it. Like, he didn't even try and go in for a rebound or anything. He just he wasn't following nah, the shot. Nah, he just said, watch. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> he had his hands still up. He was like, that's He left me. it in the air the whole yeah, time. Oh, yeah, he knows. Hey, man, that's great. That's great. So, Hunter. Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna ruin Terry's day with this one. Is he a better shooter than Draymond? No, no. Oh. No, no. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. Uh, I thought that's where you were going. That's, that's pretty funny. Yeah, that's today. exactly. What I'm going with it is that it's sad that Snacks can't capitalize. Oh. <laughs> Off of being able to go in and play. Because you know why? Because he entered the game. Yeah. Because... Now he's technically a student athlete. He was the manager. Mm-hmm. He had he has 7 million views on that video that you just watched him hitting the three right now. Yeah. 7 million he can't cap. He can't monetize it now, or you know, in a certain way, because he's now officially, I guess, has played on the in the game. So now, now he would be violating NCAA rules if he made any money off <sighs> of it. And people were asking all over the internet, Hunter, how do I buy a Jackson, Jackson State, State snacks, snacks jersey? jersey? You've got seven million views. Just think about, let's say, if five hundred people buy a jersey, how much? How much is a Jackson State jersey? I don't know, man. I <laughs> wonder if they even have I, I don't know. I don't know if they even have it, but here's the thing. You want to know what was crazy last night? So at the Hornets game, they had, you know how we went last year? They had those clearance racks. They started to yeah. pull out, so they're just trying to get rid of old inventory. I still walked over there, and they were like 40% off, right? Mm-hmm. And they had like a, a Kimball Walker jersey. Obviously, he was just still only a year gone. They had Michael Kidd Gilchrist and all those guys that they're trying to move off. 40% off. They were still charging $100 for those jerseys. As if yeah, I'm going to pay $100. For a, a used jersey the guy don't even play here no more. <laughs> they had Malik Monk ones out there, too. No, seriously. Did yeah, I? Yeah, they had Malik Monk ones out there. So I don't know what it is that he got in trouble for. But they's trying to get his jersey out of there for clearance. Uh, let's see if I can find some. I'm trying to pull up the jerseys online. They don't even have basketball jerseys at Jackson State that you can buy. But... but uh. 
the football jerseys are $65. So let's say... Just cut it in half. Or not in half, but drop it by $10. Say 50, so. we'll say, say 50, say 50 like bucks. 50, 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Because it's not as much material. Times 500 people is 25000 If 500 people of those 7 millions bought a snacks jersey, he could have $25,000. But the NCAA and their rules, Hunter, are no fun, and they want the money from the TV rights. That was like last night at the high school basketball game. We, we the, the gym was full, right? They, wait, wait, no if they more... want that money from the TV rights, and I guarantee that. Te- that show, wasn't on, well, that no, went off television. It was on something. Well, it was I think somebody. that was Facebook Live. Look, they were up there in the corner, Facebook Live. Uh, JSU TV. So they have their own streaming service at the college. So that's, that's what not, they're doing. So that's not through the NCAA. So well, what I was getting at is like the Athletic Association, and they want these broadcast rights fees, but if the game's sold, that game's not sold out. No. You can see all the you can see all the seats there. I know. But the game I was at last night was sold out and they still made announcements that we that folks can't stream live. Li- yeah. Folks, For high school. folks can't stream live video and, and you can't say, if you take pictures and you're not a media of the media, media do you know you're not a, it's against the rules to sell your pictures? So if you sat in the stands and took a picture and what that wasn't there with the media pass right. and sold it to someone, that's again that's against I mean, the rules. I guess I could try and sell my Tim Duncan picture if someone wants it for <laughs> I, a thumbnail. I know, right? Um, so I, mean, I was there so as a member if, of if the, the media. If the stand, I like to think that was a pretty good photo. It's a great picture. Like, hey. I cropped it for you back there. I'm gonna put it out on the internet in a little while. Nice. Um, what what I'm saying is, Hunter, is right. if the stands are full and the tickets are sold out, mm-hmm. shouldn't I be allowed to turn the video stream on? Yeah. If it's Damn. already sold out, what 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 else do the people what, what like? What else does the NCAA want? You're already, and, getting, what, you're already getting your money. That's what me and Jason was talking about last night before the game. Was like, you know, this place is packed out. There, it's not like anybody else is not coming to the game. Should, right. should we be allowed to just go ahead and and run this live right now? We yeah. didn't because we didn't. God forbid, we have to hear it from the athletic association about that. But <laughs> God forbid. But I was just, you know, uh, it, it's sad that he can't really capitalize on it. Uh, right. It, the way he he. Probably could capitalize. Snacks could have. He could be able to buy all kinds of snacks. Well, yeah, be all be able to pay off, buy all kinds of snacks, and maybe pay off some student loans if he's got some. We're gonna talk about this Saturday a little bit. Um, yeah, Shelby High School native. Okay, just graduated a few years back. Elliot Grayson uh, is uh, has officially went pro. Okay, there you go. So congratulations to Elliot. He will be competing. Uh, he went to University of Akron, so we'll get uh, Tom's uh, thoughts on that. No zips. And uh, he'll be making his uh, PGA Tour debut in Mexico this week at okay. the 2020 Estrella de Mar Open in Mazatlan, uh, Mexico. So uh, ah. he, uh, let's see, he competed uh, in the U.S. Amateur Championship at Pinehurst and then uh, turned pro after the event. So congratulations to Elliot Grayson. That would be my dream job, is, would be to be get paid to play golf uh, as opposed to pay to tell y'all. My hot takes here. I'd rather be playing golf. Uh, yeah, that'd really? be really fun. <laughs> Let me put a picture of it. Uh, uh, that'd real be quick. really fun. But we'll, we'll I talk have, more about it Saturday. If I have to choose one or the other right now, though, I'm taking giving my hot takes. <laughs> the hottest of takes. Do you play golf, Hunter? <sighs> no. I played golf more my the year after I graduated high school mm-hmm. because... Me and my buddies, obviously, we've all got, you know, different stuff that we do now. But you know, while we were still in, like, freshmen, sophomores in college, we would go and play a little bit. We would go play at Lakewood mm-hmm. up uh, in Statesville because it's $15 for nine holes and you get a golf cart. Like, you ain't got to pay extra for a golf cart. I was like, dude, let's just go drink some beer. That's that's a dollar a hole plus six bucks for the cart. I was like, well, yeah, <laughs> but, like, I mean, think about it. Like, Compared to other <laughs> places, right? And Cherville, that was that was the cheapest. Cherville's got a nine hole golf course, and it is about mm-hmm. twenty five to thirty bucks to play there. Yeah, see. and that's the same as the eighteen hole courses around here. Now I went and played a nine hole, a, <laughs> a nine. No, it wasn't even a nine. Hunter's got some explaining to do. Yeah, it wasn't even a nine hole course. It was a short course in Utah. Mm-hmm. I played at one of the the ones when I was called an executive Utah this course, year. is what they're called actually. I, don't, I mean, I don't know, though, because it wasn't necessarily... I think they were all just par threes, maybe, or par fours. There was a couple par fours. All right, so they have these things called executive courses, where it's yeah. not the par 72 or 70. You have to have, like, I think 68 is the lowest you can go. Yeah. So if you go any lower than that, right. it's called an executive course, mm-hmm. uh, as opposed... Because it's not a par three, and it's got a couple par fours, mm-hmm. so that's that's the actual label on it. There's one in Myrtle Beach. 
and it costs forty four bucks to play that one. Dude, and I can one, pay sixty to play a real course I was about down to say, there in Utah. You know how much I paid for it? Not much, at all, probably. But I was like ten dollars. <laughs> I paid ten dollars. We played twice because you know sometimes you're like, uh, well, I was right. there obviously on vacation. Um, but I played twice and I almost went back and played a third time. You know, so it was cheap. And unfortunately we didn't have much to do in Provo. So it wasn't, that. But, Besides, we went to, we went to a soccer game cause basketball game, basketball season was out. Yeah. So I, we couldn't go and see a jazz game, but, and I couldn't go and see a BYU or, or a Utah game for, for, uh, football cause it wasn't football season. So, you know, why did you just go to a BYU do. soccer match, Hunter? I don't think they had one that week. Oh, okay. I, just, I went. I went. I went. And saw the MLS team play. I, okay. went, saw, I went to the major league game. So was they it? had reasonable seats, and it was nice. I think I took a picture uh, from the stands. You know, the stadium obviously is nice. Most mm-hmm. professional stadiums are really nice, but what made it look the best? I did see a thing well, yesterday. Hunter no, said it, XFL it was, teams are looking at moving out to, of the NFL stadiums into some MLS stadiums that are smaller. I don't blame to make them at it, all. To fill it up, D- or whatever. DC already plays at plays at Audi Field, mm-hmm. and that's where the DC United play. But what what made this the stadium so nice was the backdrop that you would see. You'd look down to see the field. You look up, the rock, Rockies were just right there. So it's amazing really how cool. big those mountains are. Oh it? my God! When I was flying over them, mm-hmm. my word, I felt I, like I haven't been out there, Mom and. My sister's been to Montana, and yeah. and, and they they run up to the part where the Rockies run up through there, mm-hmm. and uh, just them talking about um, uh, how little our mountains are here. And, they and they call are. them glorified hills, here. right? And but those are, I should say it was when I go. I went in like May. Mm-hmm. There was still snow at the very top. Yeah, it's just how high they are in the altitude. Yep, yep, yep. Um, you ski? Do I ski? Mm-hmm. Uh. I've been skiing seriously only twice, and the mm. first time I ever went, I was in sixth grade. It was a class field trip, and I busted my nose the first time I went down. I did too, but it was a. Di- How did you bust yours? I, I, got, a weird, I got a weird story for mine. My, I was attempting to slow down because they tell you to know because we don't we didn't go and use poles. They were afraid we were going to stab each other because we were like in sixth grade. <laughs> so so we didn't use. None of us had poles. Oh okay. yeah. So to slow down, mean. they were like you know cross cross your skis. Right. Well, I crossed well, the my, poles don't slow you yeah, down. No, anyway. Well, I know, but they're like to help you know you retain balance a little, a little bit. So I, I'm going to, to to cross my skis. And one of them buckles, yeah. and my foot comes out, oh. and, so, and so I just eat it right mm. into the pole mm. and uh, or into the ski and busting my. Oh, nose. you actually hit the ski when you went down. Oh yeah. Oh, that's bad luck. I, I had bad luck too. The guy fell down in front of me, uh, and I skied around him, right, which was fine. But my pole that I had that mm-hmm. you didn't have, I didn't have any poles. Was dragging the ground yeah. while as I turned, and when I when it when it dro- went by him, his ski was crossing. And the pole hit the ski and popped straight up in, oh. in, my, in my hand. So my, I basically punched, so punched myself in the face, face. Oh, with man. a ski pole. And yeah. I got down the mountain. I, I knew I'd hit myself, and I didn't know I was bleeding yet. Yeah. I was about 13 or 14. I got down to right. the bottom of the hill, and Dad was there. And I'm covered in blood. <laughs> He's like, they freaked. I had to go into the uh, yeah, medical yeah. thing, and they yeah. looked at it. And it was just it was just a busted lip is all it was. But I mean, it, hit, yeah. it hit me perfect. Yeah, I think I had a, just a bloody nose. I mean, it stopped after a little while, but it was like it's, I, I just don't. I'm not a skier, man. I'm, nah, I'm just not. The worst, probably the worst wreck I had. It wasn't even a wreck. I was trying yeah. to, uh, I was trying to hit a jump. Yeah, and I'm not talking like a bump. I'm mm-hmm. talking an X Games type jump. Like this thing's ten foot tall. I, now, now let me tell you something. <laughs> I thought about getting a little crazy as well on the on the black diamond one. Oh, no, no, yeah. knowing good and well, I'm you not stupid. ready for That'd it, stupid. man. They got a double black at uh in at up at Sugar. Oh and, yeah, um, up at the uh, Appalachian Ski Resort. It is no at or Sugar Mountain. Sugar yeah, Mountain. There, it's a, it's it's not that long. It's only a couple hundred yards. Right. But it's straight down, oh, and it's yeah. and it's nothing but moguls. Mm. And so like, but if the moguls weren't there, you would die. It's how fast. I mean, going down those moguls, yeah. it's, it's gravity. It's all it oh, is. Oh yeah. It's like it's it's almost like the moguls are slowing you down to keep right. you from just dying. And like. So I've done it twice down those, and then I was like, ah, eh, it's not worth like th- that. But the worst one was, um, yeah. So I had some trick skis. Not saying I could do tricks. I just had the the shorter ones for more control, and because I felt if I have the longer ones and I go fast, I'm just gonna eat hurt it. myself or I'm die. I'm just gonna eat it. So I got the shorter ones, and yeah. uh, I hit this jump, Hunter. Mm-hmm. And at the very, I was good up until the very 
edge of the of the hill because where so many people right. rode up it, it was actually straight up mm-hmm. at the top instead yeah. of rounded where you jump. Yeah. And because I thought I was gonna jump, and 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 go like twenty feet. Right. Instead, when I hit the jump, you went my down? feet went straight out from under me. Oh, oh. And I landed like a snow angel flat on my back on the other side of the jump. Like it just went like <laughs> I just went. <laughs> I'm trying to find. Hold on. Oh <laughs> man. We'll pull out Jim Edmonds here for you folks watching. So Jim here, this is me hitting the jump. Whoop. And I went up in the air like this and just fell straight down like that. Arms out, wide open, everything. And when I hit, I wouldn't be able to breathe. All the air went out of me and I went, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I couldn't I couldn't breathe. Couldn't I was just like <gasps> sucking yeah. air. Yeah. And what got me back into it was I heard someone on the ski lift going over us laughing at me. <laughs> that's, that's what shocked me back to breathing. I heard people laughing and I looked up and I was like, I thought to myself, I can't lay here this long. There's more people coming. <laughs> if someone else pulls a me, I'm going to be dead. That too, if anyone else come over there, because I was at the bottom of the hill. I was right. like, I'm, not, so I'm, I'm trying to slash crawl but my skis are still on it's yeah. slippery and i just kind of slid off the edge into the woods i mean it was like i'm sitting there laying there like oh man i have a bear don't come around the corner and just eat me here <laughs> so that, that, for the first minute or two i couldn't really move i was just like Ugh. Uh, why? But, well hearing the people why laugh god, at me like, why oh god i gotta move now <laughs> why god why it hurts so bad i don't know uh man I've had, i mean i've had some great runs and, and great fun of skiing i'll never forget that one. i just i mean hunter the jump was 10 feet, and I landed at the bottom of the jump. I can only tell you how high I fell. <laughs> <laughs> luckily, it was snow. 15, 20 feet? I don't know. Luckily, I was, it was, I was, luckily it was a little bit of a powdery substance. I was blade. staring at the stars as I floated through the sky at Sugar Mountain before crash landing. I bet it was, if it was on video, yeah. it, it would definitely be viral. Oh, I mean, yeah. I, there's no chance that that would not have been <laughs> like everybody. <laughs> This <laughs> golly. Mm, in, fa- in fact, if if we had had our, I don't know if we, well, we didn't really have video phones too much back then. Well, some of yeah. us had some, that some yeah. people did. But in fact, you know, I, I, we, I probably would have told someone to to video it before I hit it. And then <laughs> we would have had a Hold my beer, watch proof this. Proof of that. Oh, it was man, bad. Man. I can feel my back now, just stiff. Oh, just, man. Mm. Just the thought. I hit the ground totally flat. Like it was a full out, like if you were doing a yeah. belly flop in a pool and your body yeah. hit. All the way across the water. That's how I hit the ground. Yeah. It, I didn't have, I did, it wasn't no tuck and roll. It was just, it was cartoon goofy hitting the snow. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Man. But then I was actually a decent skier. That's what's bad about it. All right. Uh, Hunter. Yeah. All right. So there's that. Let me get over here. 